Hey y'all, I'm Adam Sandoval, and this is my home, the Adam Sandoval YouTube Cribs Edition. So I'm gonna take you through and show you my house. Uh, I've just built it over the last couple of years, and I'm happy to share it with y'all. house is still a work in progress. Uh, I think it's coming along very nicely. You'll notice we've got some Halloween decor up front. But the house is built out of stone and cedar siding. Going up onto the porch, you'll notice we used a lot of natural stone that we pulled out of the area and these cedar posts. Both of these, well, all three of these posts up front and a couple in back are from trees that were right here on this property uh, before we started building the home. I used a mixture of stone and cedar. This is all live edge cedar from uh, the tree. So this would be the edge of the tree. My entire house is built of this cedar and this is cedar that we milled on a mill right here on our property. This is a good example of what the woods look like here in Oklahoma and the entire property looked like this before we started building. In fact, it took months of just me and a friend clearing the land to even get a pad or an area cleared out where we could start to build this home. So it truly is just built from the ground up in every way possible. The house is a two stall garage. They're not very big garages, but they are just big enough to fit a car in. This little guy here, this is our well house, it's just where our well pump is. We are in the country and we are most definitely on well water. Um, big bonus, no water bill. Our driveway is just gravel uh, lined out with stones that we've pulled from the woods. And the landscaping is still with a lot to desire. This right here is where my boy Scooter is buried overlooking my home because I truly believe that I owe everything I have to that little guy. If you guys are new to my channel, go back through some of my old videos. He's, he's my chihuahua that used to ride all across the country with me. And I miss them pretty bad. Over here is my shop. This is my man cave, if you will. A friend gave me an old bike that was in his house fire. It's just some ugly lawn art out there, but I will bring you inside this shop before the video is over. Right now, let's take a walk inside. All right, welcome to the inside of our home. I'm, uh, I'm excited to share this with you, y'all. You'll notice, first things first, all the doors in my house are eight foot tall. This was something that we really wanted to do to give it really a big open, airy feeling. This thing's pretty cool too, check it out. And this actually opens up to the front yard. So you got a view out the front and you can just get a lot of fresh air. I like to open these up while my wife's at work because <laughs> she, she'll yell at me about bugs. We are after all in the woods. This is our laundry room. Just a little mud room, washer and dryer, a little sink. This countertop was actually milled out of some oak that we cut down here on the property. And uh, just a little closet for our stuff. A little trap door bench to sit on and store things. Our shoes go underneath it there and through here. This goes off into our garage. One of the things we really splurged on was custom cabinets. So all these cabinets in here, these are all custom made, along with the ones in my office. So this is walking into uh, my office, or should I say our office? Because look, Ashley's got her own computer and I've got my own computer. Found these old chairs at an antique store, thought they went perfect with my office. And uh, this is a buffalo head. I actually got this while I was in Sturgis, South Dakota. I was riding down the road on my motorcycle. I stopped at a little roadside shop and they had this buffalo head there. And I had been looking for something for the space behind the desk and I thought it would fit perfect. And I bought it at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Kind of an old leather chair, I really dig it. And on the back is all cowhide. And of course, the wet bar behind the office and my Guinness Book World Record certificate for uh, breaking the Guinness Book World Record for the longest parade of Harley Davidson. Anybody that was with me in that, thank you all so much. Leave me uh, a comment down and below. Uh, tell me that you're a world record rider with me. These cabinets are just filled with uh, my computer stuff and office stuff, things like that. This book sits here. This was a guy I ran into when riding across Mexico. And uh, it's just filled with pictures from his journeys, traveling, uh, his whole story traveling on motorcycle. And we really had a lot in common. We shared some stories there at a little roadside uh, tavern in Mexico, and I ended up buying this book off of him. He's looking for a little more scratch to make it further down into the, uh, into the country. Right behind here, this is a picture of Scooter, my dog I told you about earlier in the video. Beautiful painting that was done for me, and it just sits here in my office. Also, this is pretty unique. This is a gift I got. It says, thanks for all that you do for veterans, Adam. 
acquired during Iraq Freedom 2003. And uh, we all know what that is. And of course, a little model figure of my dream car. This was a neat addition. So this is a fireplace, but it goes through both sides. I wanted real wood in the worst way, but this is one of those ones I had to give into my wife. She wanted the gas because she wanted it to be clean. She didn't want to deal with the dirt. If you'll notice, this house is, in my opinion, pretty clean, and it is not my doing. This is my wife. She is very adamant about cleaning every single day. On this side of the fireplace, we've got a picture of our son, Brady, a beautiful carving that was given to me by a friend as a housewarming gift. And this mantle, again, a piece of oak that we cut and milled ourselves. The ceilings are trade, so they, are, they start at 12 foot, but they bump up to all the way up to 14 foot here in the living room. There is a chandelier that I kind of made with a bunch of antlers. So I did a YouTube video asking people to send me antlers and they sent me all these antlers and I built this beautiful chandelier for our living room. I think it looks really good alongside the uh, old Western bench and these old stained glass windows that we also picked up from a local antique store. This is kind of a nice feature that we found. It goes alongside of our fridge and it's just our key cabinet. So we keep all of our keys, some flashlights, some knickknacks and things in here. And it allows us to uh, always know where our keys are at, but they're good and hidden. This is our alarm system. It just arms our house, checks all the windows, all the doors. It checks for movement. Uh, it's dialed right into the police. It works perfectly for us. Being out here in the middle of nowhere, it's important to have alarm and cameras, which we have around the entire property. Moving into our kitchen. Again, same guy made all the cabinets in here for us. We kind of designed it out. Uh, this beautiful marble top, and it's really cool because it's actually got some crystal in it that you can you know, actually see from underneath. So eventually, and I haven't done it yet, eventually I want to get some lights and put them underneath there that I can light up different colors uh, at night just for fun. Not a huge island, but it is a nice island. It fits three bench stools and it houses this, which I really love. This is special to me. I had a guy come stay here at the campground and as a hobby, he was a forger. So he asked me if he could take some wood with him when he left. I said, absolutely. He took some wood from my mill and then he made this set of knives with all the woodwork from K River Wood. And when I saw him put them online, I just had to have them, so I bought them from him. If you guys want to check him out, his name is Uncle Jed. He's on Instagram. He forged this beautiful set of knives. It's got all kinds of unique fillet knives in there, steak knives, every kind of knife you want, all hand forged by my buddy Uncle Jed. He did a great job on it, real proud of him. This was a major thing here uh, that we debated about. We went with the eight burner stove in the two oven. Really has been kind of a nice feature to have. I'm glad we did it. And again, in here, all of our countertops are oak that we milled out with a live edge on them throughout the entire kitchen. This is a jug of moonshine that I stilled over at my friends from Rock Creek Distillery. They let me go in their distillery and we stilled some moonshine and that was it. Okay, I think this is, this is one of those moments you have to do in cribs, YouTube cribs here. We're gonna look inside, see what's inside my fridge. So inside the fridge, we've got a bunch of bougie water, regular water, energy drinks. I love the C4. Asha does the Focus Aid. Uh, a bunch of leftovers and dips and, well, some steaks I'm gonna put on the grill later tonight. Here's an old time picture we did with the family. And in here is our pantry. A neat feature of this pantry is there's no light switch. When the door shuts, the light goes off. When the door opens, the light goes on. And we've got our pantry. Check out this table here. So this was a root ball we found in the river of K River Campground on the river, pulled it out, I chopped it up and stained it and turned it into this, this table. It's not a big table, just two chairs and a bench, but it really does set off and go with the overall look of the house, I think. Above the pantry door, Ashley and Adam Sandoval established September 10th, 2022. That is the date that the lovely, the beautiful Miss Ashley became Mrs. Sandoval. And I could not be more proud. Another nice little feature is this, the pull out trash cans but the pull-out cutting board above them. So you can do all your cutting on here, put your trash down in there, it falls right down in the trash can. All right, moving into the back of the house, the, uh, the back wall, a big 12-foot sliding glass door, uh, French doors over there, and more glass windows over here because out the back overlooks this beautiful creek. And I'll take you guys out there in a minute. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, through here, I'll bring you into the bedroom. Before we go into the bedroom, we got the wall of photos of family and loved ones. And this is our son's room. He is uh, loves sharks and animals, so he's got all the shark stuff up and his little computer and TV area. 
along with his dresser. This is an actual piranha teeth that my aunt caught when she was in the Amazon and had it put into a mouth of a fish and gave it to him. It's pretty neat. And then in here is his closet full of toys and all the things you could want as a young man. Oh boy, his name is Brady. If you guys haven't seen him on the videos, you have to check him out. He's been in quite a few of them. Once you come out of his room, you go to the left. You've got a pantry and then, of course, automatic lights in the bathroom as well. His shower. You can tell because the toys are down in there. <laughs> but uh, basically, this is his bathroom and our guest bathroom. Everyone wants to change the world, but nobody wants to change the toilet paper roll. Be the change. <laughs> Coming out of the bathroom into our guest room. This would be our guest room. And uh, not much in here going on. Just uh, some pictures and overlooks our patio, our outdoor kitchen area in the patio. That's our guest room. You will also notice we didn't do any type of flooring. All of our floors are just the concrete slab that our house was poured on. And then we stained it and sealed it. And uh, it works pretty good. It stays pretty clean and uh, it's really held up really well. And then we just sealed it and it works. It works pretty good. Oh, here's another nice feature. Check this out. In here, we've got a couple buttons in all of the windows in the house. They're all power automatic windows. So just by pushing the button at night, you can close up the whole house. Except for, except for the bay windows. You gotta, you gotta pull those drapes. While the ceilings are tall and the doors are big and the house feels to me very grand, uh, the, the footprint isn't really that. We've just got one more bedroom and that's our bedroom. So right past another picture of our boy Scooter, you enter our bedroom. Brady's on the right wall. This is a bed that I made from wood that we milled right here at the campground. So this is campground wood, not old trees, but fairly fresh trees that I kind of cut jagged and milled them down and stained them to make them look antique. But realistically, that is not an antique bed. Those were trees standing just three years ago. Now they are my bed. Over here, just a little bit of a workout area where I can do some morning stretches and stuff when I get out of bed. And of course, this overlooks that creek and water, little waterfall we got back there, which I'll show you shortly. Through our bedroom, We've got the uh, family Christmas picture over here. And over there, just a good old love quote. This door actually goes back to our back patio and our outdoor kitchen. And through here is our bathroom. This is a tub, a soaking tub we've got. We each have our own vanity. Vanity for me, vanity for her. A separate toilet room with the door to close. That is super important. Kind of our walk-in shower here with, you know, some body spray. It's our shower. I like it a lot. I love the rainfall from the ceiling. To me, that was a big feature. And then this is just our closet. So it's just a bunch of clothes and shoes and drawers and just a, a walk-in closet. And that's really it. That's the whole interior of the house. I'll take you all out back and I'll show you what our uh, outdoor space looks like. So I mentioned steaks, so I thought I'd show you this real quick. This is our deep freezer and this is all steaks that we have uh, had butchered. We actually uh, raised our own cow with a friend of ours and chopped it up and had it all packaged. And then we bought another local cow uh, and added to it. So this is, uh, this is our meat freezer. So when we get steaks, we take them out of here and we're set up, I would say, for the whole year. This just might be my favorite part of the whole house. It's the outdoor space. A couple nice chairs to sit over here and really just kind of overlook and listen to that creek. If you guys listen, can you hear it? Man, it sounds beautiful. Another sitting area down there, another sitting area here. Well, this is all stone over concrete. Both of these patios, those stones are just laid like pavers. So eventually I'd like to get those done in concrete and make them solid. Over here's the outdoor kitchen area where we can sit with our friends have a little fireplace. We built a kind of the wood storage underneath it. And that's kind of part of what's fun about building your own home 
is that you get to customize things and make them how you want them to be. Some of the features that I've gone over here are things we thought very hard about and learned through lots of time researching the internet and seeing what other people have done. Here we've just got an outdoor kitchen, a little sink, a little trash, some storage. And this is our hot tub. It's just a quick uh, inflatable hot tub. I bought it off of Amazon. Uh, but I've been thinking about building my family a hot tub over here and just maybe cutting those trees down and digging that out and making like an in-ground homemade hot tub there, like a natural hot tub with like the local stones and stuff. Pretty sure I'm gonna do this soon. My boy just loves getting in the hot tub and I just think it'd be nice to make something a little bit bigger that we could all enjoy together. So this is our little waterfall out behind the house. Um, and it just gives us a beautiful sound. The water is a little cloudy because it picks up quite a bit of erosion as it's coming off of the mountains and i don't know maybe you can see back there it's cutting through the woods and feeding there as well and comes down underneath the bridge there and then it goes underneath our bridge over there we've got an old bridge built in 1932 that connects our house to the campground and uh it's an old highway bridge from when highway 2 used to run right along there and it's now up the road by our entrance. This is what the house looks like from the back. I really am proud of it. I've, I've built this thing, uh, lots of it with my own two hands and lots of it with my own design and my own materials right off the land. It's really been a project of love. And it's surrounded by, look at these big rocks. Look at the size of that. That's the size of a car right there. All mossy and beautiful. These are all just tucked right behind our house. Pretty awesome. Now we get a lot of deer back here and I, I might lose some subscribers over this, but I'm not much of a hunter. I really don't hunt much, but I love looking at the deer. So I've planted two apples and a peach tree back here. While I've been feeding the deer every year to look at them in the mornings while I work out or just enjoy a coffee or sit and answer my messages online, I've now got some fruit trees that'll feed those deer and bring them in for me. And also my family can enjoy the fruit as well. All right, it's time to show you my shop. To get into the house, we've got these uh, power gates right off the highway. You can see it back there. Again, built with wood right off the land. And uh, those power open, and that brings you in and down to my shop. And then back around the roundabout there, it'll go into my house. All right, welcome to my shop. And here's where you'll see the difference between me and my wife. Uh, she doesn't clean this out here, I do. And it's nowhere near as organized or clean as my home. <laughs> First example, my, uh, my table, office desk, and close to my, I got a big 14 foot door there so I can fit full RVs in here and big things like that. Uh, you can see it's just cluttered, but uh, I got a bike lift with a table here where I can work on motorcycles and do the basics I am no means a mechanic, but I can change a battery and oil and you know brakes and the basic stuff over here I've just got a collection of some more antlers an old 5150 kicker Some more oak slab and some whiskey barrels set up for a little little makeshift bar a little lounge area That's being overrun currently with helmets a beer cooler. It's a whole lot different than uh and then my other one, I got some some pickles, some moonshine, and uh, some cheesecake. A box of Fireball and a bottle of Tito's. <laughs> this is a really special gift that was given to me. This is uh, an award, awarded to Scoot in America for outstanding volunteer volunteerism in honor of fallen veterans. Now those are actual medals that the military gives out. Um, technically I should not have those as I was never in the military. So it's a huge honor for me to have military medals for volunteerism. And there's so much memorabilia in here that I could talk for days about every piece of it, but we'll just kind of walk you through it. I got an old wood stove for throwing some heat in the winter. This is my back deck. Got a little grill out here, a little picnic table, and it overlooks our little racetrack where the kids go when they race. And there's some adults playing out there too. I, I may be one of them. Back inside the shop, uh, just a couple motorcycles, my workbench equally cluttered, a bunch of t-shirts from all the Harley dealerships I've ridden my motorcycle to. I've ridden to get every one of those t-shirts. My Indian, an old Honda. This is the first mini bike I've ever owned. My dad's pickup truck, a 1989 F-150. I've been working to restore it and get it running and turn it into a daily driver. I just had the seats all redone. You can look at them, they look pretty good. Working on the dash and the interior now. Got to figure out something for the headliner, but we're working on it. Anyhow, it's all re-geared. It's on 35s. I absolutely love it. A BMW, Ashley's Road King, my Sportster dirt bike build, Ashley's dirt bike, my BMW R18, uh, an old Indian, my buddy Scott scooter, a bunch of mini bikes, big old swamp cooler. That one helps in the summer. 
And then of course my dream car over here, my Trans Am, my boy's uh, little four wheeler and uh, another little uh, workout area here that honestly I should probably use a whole lot more than I do. Over here I've just got a welder, uh, battery jumpers, pressure washer, air tank, a couple electric bicycles. These ones are made by Wicked Thumb and I absolutely love them. I actually got six of them that I could rent out to the campground guests. So if you come to the Cave River campground, you can uh, jump on one of these bikes and ride it. It's, it's pretty cool. In here is a little makeshift bathroom. It's just a toilet and a sink, nothing fancy. And that's the, uh, the quick version of my shop tour. On these shelves over here, these are just some homemade shelves that I made. And uh, I got all my camping gear, tents, sleeping bags, uh, just any type of travel, or camping gear that you might think of is all there and then just extra motorcycle parts and truck parts over there. It's a mess, I, I know it's a mess. My, <laughs> my wife lets me know it's a mess, but uh, you know what? I come out here and I work and I, I tinker around and, uh, and I enjoy that. That's, that's good enough for me. And there you have it, my home, uh, my YouTube crib, if you will, if you ever wanna know uh, how YouTubers live, maybe I'll go do some more YouTubers homes besides just my own. Um, listen, this is, uh, this is a beautiful home. I am proud to have it. This is the nicest home I have ever lived in. And no, I don't have tennis courts or some, uh, Playboy Mansion style pool. And I don't live on the ocean or in downtown New York City on a flat. I live in the woods of Oklahoma. I go across an old 1932 bridge to go to my campground, which is in my backyard. And, um, we kind of do what we want out here and we live, we live free. It's kind of a lawless land out here. There's not a lot of rules and regulation and uh, we get to just enjoy life. The house is not huge, but to me it's very grand and um, I'm very proud of it. We built this from the ground up, from breaking dirt and clearing brush to chopping down trees, turning them into lumber to, you know, hand picking stones. This uh, house has been a work of love. And if you want to see more of my history um, on how I got to this point, you can check out the video I will link right here. But let me tell you, I'm pretty proud of this house. I hope y'all enjoyed my in-depth tour. And um, you know, I think it's pretty dang good for a kid who lived homeless for five years riding around the country on his motorcycle. This is, uh, this feels like a mansion to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm very honored to have it and proud to have this for my family. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>